Welcome back guys. I cannot believe that it's already the end of February and I'm making my first video of the year. Um, after Vlogmas, I just wanted to take a nice break and then we traveled a bunch and now we're just kind of back home in our normal routine and I felt like now was a good time to jump on and just start uploading again. I'm so excited to be here. I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year. Um, and yeah, before we get into the video, I wanted to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. One of my biggest goals this year is to get on top of my mental health. This has always been something that has been on the back of my mind and I've always wanted to put Put, make more of a priority in my life but I've always just seemed to put it on the back burner and I'm just realizing that I need to take care of myself before I can take care of other people so I know I'll be a better wife a better mom a better friend a better daughter all of the above I'll just be a better person if I take care of myself so when BetterHelp reached out to me I was so excited and it honestly kind of gave me like the kick in the butt that I needed to just jumpstart this journey of bettering myself. And honestly, the biggest reason I think I haven't like found a therapist in the past is just being so intimidated and not really knowing where to start. So like I said, I'm new to therapy and I feel like BetterHelp really just takes away all of the pressure that I was feeling with just like going in blind and trying to find a therapist in my city. All I had to do was go on their website. I filled out a questionnaire where I talked about my challenges, what kind of therapist that I wanted. And within 48 hours, a therapist reached out to me, gave me a whole list of times. I could either do a phone call, a video chat, or messaging, whatever I was most comfortable with. They do have over 30,000 different therapists in their network. So if you don't feel very comfortable with whoever you were matched with first, it's so easy to switch. So I feel like that's really nice too. You just get such a bigger access to different therapists than you would if you're just like going in your town or city that you live in. I'm proud of myself for making this more of a priority and actually taking the steps to better myself. If you're feeling similar and you've been a little intimidated by finding a therapist, I hope that this helps you and I'm so excited that I have a discount code. All you have to do is visit betterhelp.com slash Lindsay Paulson to get 10% off your first month of therapy. Um, I can't say enough about this company. I'm so happy to be working with them. And if you're like me and haven't been making mental health or yourself a priority in a while, this is your year. You should do it. Take advantage of my discount code and try it out. Okay, it is Friday morning. We just got home from PT. Foster just graduated PT. He's been doing physical therapy since I want to say it was four months. He's now seven months. Um, and today was our last day. So he basically was born and he had torticollis, which means that a baby's like one of their neck muscles is too tight. So they prefer, prefer to look one way. And oftentimes that causes like flat spots on the back of their head. So we've been going to physical therapy and doing like stretches and stuff at home to try to help with that neck muscle. And he just graduated today, so we're so happy. He doesn't have to go anymore. And he is currently wearing a helmet. Um, I need to go put it on him, actually. Uh, I don't put it on him when we go for like long car rides and we just got home. So anyways, I gotta go put that on him. He has a helmet for roughly like six to 12 weeks is what they're guessing. We're only on, we're a little over like two and a half weeks right now. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't love it. He is like unbothered by it, which is really all that matters, but I just feel so bad for him. I don't know. He gets like sweaty and hot and it just can't be comfortable, but he's honestly, like I said, very unbothered by it. So that's kind of where we're at with Foster. He's already seven months old, you guys, which is mind blowing to me, but he's the sweetest little baby in the whole world. Are you so happy? Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Yay. Happy, happy, happy. Yay. I just ran upstairs for something and I saw my stack of books on my nightstand, which is another one of my goals for the year. I never read you guys and when I would start a book it would literally take me an entire year to get through and I've already read two this year so I'm doing good with that. 
Um, and the first one that I read was this one, Local Women Missing. It's so good. I could not put this book down once I got into it. It's a little scary. Like when David wouldn't be home and I was reading this, I would get scared. But it's so good if you like a thriller type book. Um, it's really good. And then this one I just finished last night, Love and Other Words. Um, I chose this one because I was coming off that one, which was like kind of scary and like giving me nightmares. So I wanted like a lighthearted love story type book. And this one is so sweet i want this to be a movie so bad i loved the characters and i just thought it was so cute i just bought this as a gift for somebody because it's just like an easy read and like i said a really cute love story so then next this is the one i think i'm gonna read i've heard it's really good oh wait is this what is the one I think this is the one um, I'm going to start next. I think it's maybe kind of a thriller. I don't even really know. A friend told me about it and said it was really good. So I'm going to start that one probably tonight. But anyways, I'm a big reader now and I'm very proud of myself. So if you're looking for some new books to read, I'm sure everyone's probably read these already. I'm like so behind on like book talk or whatever that is but anyways this is my new one that i'm starting so i'm excited for that my baby boy we did stop at home goods after his appointment this morning i thought i would show you some things i found it's like very boring and random things but let me go grab some stuff i found this cute baking dish I thought it was a really good size for like a dip or something and I'm always using this type of stuff so I grabbed this this was $12.99 but I just thought it was super cute and kind of looked like handmade we desperately needed new um, what are these called oven mitts ours were from our wedding which was over seven years ago so disgusting and we needed new ones so i got these ones these were 6.99 but i thought they were cute and simple they have the best like baking stuff there and i found these little cupcake liners for remy and i to make muffins in or i honestly like when i make her little snack plates sometimes i put like her blueberries and stuff in these just to make them a little fun and i grabbed remy this dress it was 12.99 and i just thought it was so sweet um it might be a little big for her right now but it probably will fit her like going into the fall but i'll try it on her because it'd be cute for easter even and then i know a lot of pregnant people right now so i grabbed this for oh god bless you somebody and it's a little magnetic me originally $40 and it was $14.99 so I got this and it's pretty like gender neutral so that is what I found in the clothes section I literally don't even look for myself anymore when I go there I go straight to the baby stuff um I did find some body wash I'm obsessed with Nivea I don't know why I just think it's like such a they have good smelling stuff and i'm just kind of trying out a bunch of different body washes right now and this one smelled good so i grabbed that very random picked up some cute cards i always do and then i found some books um i saw this one which is just a classic and we actually don't have it and i thought remy would like this book so we're gonna probably read this tonight where the wild things are and then my friend was just telling me that her little son loves this what is it called little blue truck series and i saw them there today so i grabbed foster this one and then i grabbed this one for his easter basket it's little blue trucks springtime so growing foster's little book collection we have so many girly books so i'm trying to get some that are a little bit more boyish but anyways that's all i found at home guys i'm gonna go feed foster he is hungry and i'll check in with you guys in a little bit Okay, Foster just went down for his last nap, so I'm going to spend this time to clean up my house. 
I love doing this on Friday afternoons when it's just him and I here because I have no toddler to like mess up stuff as I'm cleaning and I just can like zone in and get it done and then we go into the weekend with a clean house. We usually get takeout on Fridays too so then like there's just no dishes and all of that so it's very nice just like have a clean house especially on like Saturday morning. So I'm gonna run around get as much done before he wakes up got my headphones in I'm gonna probably listen to a podcast and yeah let's go Good morning guys, it is Sunday now. Yesterday we drove back to my hometown and spent the day with my family, which was super fun. And now we are home and I'm about to head out to go grocery shopping. I think David's gonna take the kids to the park. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get everything for the week. We're making stuffed shells today, which will be super fun. I'm excited to do that. Um, and we're gonna make buffalo chicken salads. What else are we having? A Greek chicken bowl. Anytime like I'm in charge of the grocery list, we basically have a bunch of meals that go in bowls because it's like my favorite type of like dinner. So we're having buffalo chicken, salads, Greek chicken bowls. It's supposed to be like 60 degrees on Monday, I think. So we're gonna grill out. So we're gonna do like a old fashioned cookout, like brats, potato salad, that type of meal. And then what else are we having? I'm blinking. What's the last thing? Pasta tonight. Uh, something. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, and then we have Chipotle on the menu. Normally, we would get Chipotle on like Sunday nights and not cook, but we're okay. realizing that Sundays are actually a lot easier to cook because we're both home and like we can start earlier. Um, so we're gonna cook dinner tonight and then someday during the week when we're feeling like we don't want to cook We're gonna get Chipotle. So that's the plan. Oh and Remy you get to go to the park with daddy, right? Yeah, they haven't seen you for so long and you're getting so big. How old are you almost? Um, three. You're almost three years old. She got Elsa braids today. Her hair is getting so long But yeah, besides that I got everything we need for all, for all our meals and then I've got Mommy. some like stuff to do some meal prep Jeez. for Foster and Remy. We're gonna do some sweet potatoes sweet and potatoes. should we make some egg cups maybe? Yeah. We love egg cups around here. You can help me with that, huh? Yeah, right. Yeah, oh. egg cups. Yeah. What Turn goes in egg in. cups? Do you remember? What? What What do we put in egg cups when we make them? Do you remember? Mm. Bacon! Bacon. What else? Um, what are the things you crack? <gasps> oh, it's okay. Eggs. Eggs. You're really good at cracking eggs, aren't you? Yeah. What are other ingredients that we need for egg cups? Um, water. Water. We put milk. Yeah. And cheese. Yeah. And salt. And pepper. And pepper.
I was just cleaning off the counters and I saw this little project I did with Remy. So we went to Florida, like I said, a couple weeks ago and I had seen this project before, um, Almost Makes Perfect. If you don't follow her on Instagram, she has some cute ideas and her house is super cute. Um, and I saw this idea a few years ago, I think, and I knew I wanted to do it with the kids. So when we were in Florida, I had Remy find some really like small shells. And when we got home, my phone, I literally just broke it. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to redo this. Sad. Okay, well, this is what I was gonna show you guys. Um, I made these really cute ornaments for the kids and I put all the shells that we found on the beach and I put them in some of that like air dry clay. It's by Crayola, it's super easy. Um, I made the kids like handprints at Christmas time with it and I just had leftover. Anyways, so you basically just put your shells in it, let it dry. I put this little hook at the top. So I'm going to put some ribbon through it and let them have these on their little Christmas trees in their room next year. But I'm going to write on the back where we went in the year. And I just thought it was such a cute idea. I cannot believe I just dropped that one and broke it. I'm so annoyed. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to redo this one, um, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I'll be able to get all the shells off this and we'll redo it. So annoying. Okay, it is 2.30 right now, but I'm gonna start prepping dinner because I told Remy she could help me make dinner and we're making stuffed shells. So I'm gonna do like all the hard stuff, like make the stuffing, cook the noodles, and make the sauce while she's napping and then when she wakes up she can help me like stuff the shells and put the cheese and stuff on top um and then we'll just stick it in the fridge until we're ready to eat but i thought now is probably a good time to just get it like all prepped and ready to go and then around dinner time it's a lot easier and less of a thing so i'm gonna start prepping all that i don't even know i have to look at the recipe i've not made stuffed shells in so long i feel like it's fairly easy but just kind of tedious so we're gonna start that Okay, my little helper is awake from her nap. Are you ready to help mama? Good job. Whoa. Hold it and then just put it right in that spot. Perfect. Oops, it's okay. Let's add some more to this one. Okay. <laughs> you did a good job. Thank you. Okay, that's perfect. Now we want to put that in the last spot. Okay, we've been just hanging out with the kids and playing, and now I'm going to get dinner all ready. I just threw together this really light salad. It's like one of our favorite things. Um, the pasta is going to be like very rich, so we wanted just like a really light and refreshing salad. And this one, it, all it is is lettuce, shallots, Parmesan cheese, crushed red pepper, and then you do lemon zest, lemon juice, and olive oil. This is my favorite olive oil to use in dressings. It's so good. And then you just toss it all in here and it's so good. It's so just like light and I feel like it's a perfect dish if you're gonna have like something like more heavy on the, as your main. So I'm gonna make that. I always try to offer Remy something similar to what we're having. So, cause this had crushed red pepper in it, I didn't give her that, but I'm gonna put a different dressing on hers. 
She might eat it, she might not, but she usually is pretty good about trying everything. So I'm gonna give her that. Foster's gonna eat some of the sweet potato that I made earlier. And then we're all gonna eat, well, Remy, David, and I are gonna eat the pasta. But it should be super good.